What if the same metabolic strategy that keeps our bodies lean, like the keto diet, also triggers a hidden aging bomb within our cells? A new study published in Science Advances by Yamauchi and his team reveals for the first time that enhanced fat oxidation in our cells might accelerate aging. The researchers set out to understand how cells respond to DNA damage and why some enter an irreversible aging state. They were particularly interested in the role of mitochondrial fat burning in this process. They examined human cells in the laboratory and used mouse models. By artificially inducing DNA damage, monitoring metabolic changes, and employing cutting-edge gene analysis techniques, they identified key proteins involved in the process. A critical factor emerged, the protein BNIP3. Activated by DNA damage, BNIP3 boosted fat oxidation within mitochondria. However, this very process set off a chain reaction that rapidly aged the cell and halted its division. The keto diet relies on this mechanism, forcing cells to burn fat instead of sugar. While this can offer short-term protection, the study suggests that prolonged high-fat oxidation might accelerate cellular aging. However, caution is needed. The study did not investigate the keto diet directly, but rather the pharmacological activation of fat oxidation. Whether these findings directly translate to dietary ketosis in humans remains unclear, especially since the experiments were conducted with cell cultures in mice. How can we harness the benefits of the keto diet without accepting its potential risks? Perhaps the solution lies in using it cyclically, alternating phases of fat oxidation with periods of carbohydrate-rich recovery. But definitive answers are still pending further research. The ketogenic diet can be a valuable tool for certain diseases. But as a general nutritional strategy, it should be used with caution and monitored individually. Until we know more about how keto affects people in the long term, the best recommendation remains to rely on proven dietary patterns, such as the Mediterranean diet, the long-term safety of which has been proven in numerous human studies. That's a wrap for today. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. As always, we wish you a long, healthy, and happy life. Until next time.